everyone. Hi. We're back. We're back. I'm Paula. I'm Cecily. I'm her mom. I'm her daughter. Welcome, Welcome to, to This Made Up Life. We are really excited today to show you something, a quick how-to for taking leggings, which does everyone have a bunch of pairs that you're not wearing anymore? Probably. Let's turn them into this season's biggest, one of this season's biggest trends, bike shorts or capris. So we're going to show you that. Now, Cecily, why don't you tell us why you're wearing your leggings inside out? Why am I wearing my leggings inside out? That's, that's attractive. <laughs> that was cute, huh? Um, so in order to get the right length of bike shorts, a tip would be to put on your leggings inside out. This helps when measuring. Because if you try to cut your leggings without having them on and marking where you want them to be, they stretch enough that you're gonna cut them too short. It's so much better to cut them a little bit longer, even a little bit longer than you think you want them, and then check, because you can always come back and shorten, and shorten them. them. But you can't you add Can't length. add to, not easily anyway. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. We are using a white pen. Do you wanna grab the white pen? All right, and so about how long do you want these? Your knee's uh, right here. Here's my knee. Um, let's just go a little bit above my knee. Okay, so. Yeah, right there, seems great. Ooh. We're gonna go right there. All right, you feel good about that? Oh, I'm feeling, yep, feeling great. Okay, now she's gonna change out of those and we're gonna show you how to shorten them. All right, we have the leggings and you can see they're marked. Now we have a couple different versions of ways to finish finish this. The first one is really, really simple. It would be literally just cutting it off right at that line. And here's a pair that Cecily did earlier. Tell us about these. So, obviously they were leggings. And I kind of... I didn't mark, and these are shorter than I would really like, but they do the job. They're hot pants. They're hot pants. So I just cut them, and the hem now just rolls a tiny bit because it is spandex. So this is pretty cool because if you didn't want to do anything to them, you can just make sure that you cut them about a half inch to three quarters of an inch longer, longer. than you want them cut them off as straight as possible, and then you just kind of pull on them a little bit and the hem is going to roll, roll up like that. You can put a dot, if you're concerned about the seam right here coming undone, you could put a dot of glue or fray check right there to hold those threads. But I, how many times do you think you've washed these? Oh, 10 times maybe. And you can see that, I mean, it's just barely starting to come apart here a little bit. It's not yeah. much. So a tiny dot of fray check or, or glue. even just a little dot of glue, um, something that's permanent glue. Yeah. Not, not, not like Elmer's glue. glue stick. That would just wash it right out. <laughs> not work so much. Okay, so that's version one. Super simple. You're gonna cut them off. Just make sure you cut them off a little bit longer. Ooh. Version number two uses an amazing product that we just found. And we're not getting sponsored by this product, just so you know. We're just telling you it's really cool. It's awesome. It's called Heat and Bond Soft Stretch Ultra. The key here is the soft stretch. This is a new product for Heat and Bond. Um, we were actually really happy to find it because we were trying to think of a way to bring a fix like this to you without any stitching. And so we thought we'd try this. Regular heat and bond is not going to have the stretch. So we, if you were to use that to fix a hem on a knit fabric, the chances of that when the fabric stretches, it pulls away from the adhesive. This does not do that. If there's enough stretch in there that it makes it real easy. Nice. Doesn't pull away. Yeah, not at all. So after a little bit of trial and error, we started off by cutting first. And nope. 
you can see the difference here. One leg is finished with the heat and bun. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. We cut first and it's rolled. It rolls. So when you cut the fabric, it's going to roll. Now this made it really hard to attach the heat and bun where we wanted it. And so we had to come back in and trim it away. But you can see what a great hem that makes. I'm so excited about this. I know, me too. This because is awesome. the chances of being able to use this on t-shirts, t on anything knit is so yeah, awesome. Very exciting. Um, so instead of cutting first, we're going to take a ruler. We're going to mark our line here based on what we measured when she was wearing the leggings. So we're going to mark across and then we're going to peel this one back a little bit and mark on the other leg. You want to make sure that you're laying really flat, that you've got it um, folded in half right at the crotch seam so that they match on both legs. And then we're going to take it away from here. We're going to open it up kind of halfway. So can you see how we folded it so that the side, we can see the side? And we just want to kind of continue this around, but we also want to make sure it matches on the other side. So I'm going to stick the ruler in there, match it up. That was a nifty trick. I know, you know, anything to make life easier. Right? Yeah, work smart, not hard. So I'm going to mark along the edge of the ruler on this side. And then I'm and just mark along the edge of the ruler on that side. Ooh. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other leg. We're going to open it up. Okay, what are we doing next, Sus? Marking. Oh, ruler. So we're going to put the ruler there. We're going to fold it up. Make sure it matches along the line that we marked. Yeah, match it so that it matches on both sides. There we go. There we go. All right. And we're just going to mark, 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 along. mark, 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 flip it open. Mark, 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 mark. Okay. Now this stuff comes in a roll. So again, after some trial and error, <laughs> we figured out the easiest way for you. So I'm going to come on here and I'm going to cut a length. So I want it to go just not quite all the way to the edge. So it's part of the way across there. Okay. Let me just hold it up so you can see. Yeah. And now we're going to use the iron. High heat. Oh, no steam. What's well, wrong? Hold. We're going to put the bond on the other side of our line. Why do you think that is? Because we're going to fold it up. <sighs> Took me a second. That's it. <laughs> we want to put it on the other side of our line and then we'll cut right along the outside of the heat. <sighs> Woo! Woo! Almost made these Almost too, made short. too short. <laughs> that would have been stupid. All right. So our, our iron is on high. The steam is off. Yes. And, and you press for about five seconds. You want to make sure that you're giving it a nice even press all along. You may not necessarily want to drag the iron. You're going to lift it up and put it down to on the next part because you don't want the fabric or the heat and bond to shift. And then you can kind of turn it. Excellent. Your pressing skills are very impressive. Thank you. I did go to school for it. All right. Now we're going to let that cool off a little bit. We're going to put our the first row on our other side other leg. it's really important that you let it cool cool before you mess with it because um it'll just make it that much harder to work with later or it won't get a good bond uh -uh. all right well whew, almost that was close and down there we go good job Thanks. It's really difficult. <laughs> it's really not. It's quite easy, actually. Anybody could do it. Your dog could probably do it. So, you know, um, Mother's Day is this week. I know. It's my first Mother's Day. 
Oh, I love that. But do you have big plans? No, but even bigger. It's your birthday this week. So a few years ago, I instituted something called Week of Worship. Week of Worship. So when I turned 40, I decided that, that having a birthday the same week as Mother's Day was awesome. Was not great. Oh, not great. <laughs> not great. What? So I started Week of Worship. I highly recommend it to every mom out there. Out there. <laughs> Today is the first day of Week of Worship. It just means that, what does it mean, Cecily? What is Week of Worship? I would like to hear this from your perspective <laughs> and get it on film. This is fantastical. Here's what Week of Worship means to me. Oh, oh, cute. Means uh, showering your mother with gifts and pleasantries and compliments and helpfulness, all manner of love given to your mother it's for funny. one week <laughs> of the whole year, one week. But it's not like big gifts. No, it's, it's no, it's like flowers. Like flowers. Or, or I saw this little something that was a dollar and thought of you. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> At least you thought of me. That's the key. <laughs> So save money, live better. Walmart. <laughs> Love me some Walmart. So we're just continuing to put this heat and bond right next to that line. And we're going to finish one leg, then we'll go back to the other leg. Because we've got to let it cool before we cut. Let it cool before you cut. Be cool before you cut. So um, to be perfectly honest, Nothing has happened. Oh, no, no, no. I Let me take that back. My daughter, who lives out of town, Aww. called this morning to wish me a happy week of worship. Yes. I called to remind. I, I texted. She did. She to remind sent everyone. Out a text. Hey, just so you know, it's Tencent week of worship. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware. Didn't want anyone getting caught off guard. She also sent out this text two weeks ago and three weeks ago. Just so you know. You know you've got to set your expectations. Otherwise, you're going to be disappointed. Well, just keep your expectations low. <laughs> then you won't ever be disappointed. How about that? <laughs> well, I did that before. That's why I instituted week of worship. Oh, poop. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't learn. <laughs> All right. One more tiny piece and we are golden. Jeez, legs are big. <laughs> I feel like I've been doing this for hours. Da -da 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 -da. Just you wait till you see what I am doing for you for week of worship. We will definitely take pictures of it and post it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally nervous now. All right. So now that we have cut the edge right next to that paper, we're going to peel. Peel. Oh, that's, Ooh, a, long that's a long one. one. It's kind of like when you peel your sunburn. <laughs> You're like, oh, that was a big one. <laughs> All right. So now, now you're going to do, you're going to fold this up. And this time we're going to press with a little bit of steam, which is interesting because in the past that hasn't been really the MO. It, check the back of the package. I got to check this out. Read it for me. Ooh. Now, this heat and bond stretch, it's available at um, Amazon.com or always Joanne. Joanne. Good old Joanne. That's where we got it. With steam. You're right. Press and hold iron for 20 seconds on each section until the entire piece is bonded. So this is really going to be important. They wouldn't have taken the time to put it in the instructions if this wasn't a key part of making sure that you were going to get a good adhesion here. Okay. All right. So 20 seconds. <gasps> Careful. I thought I dropped it. And go. All right. So now we have a pair of really great finished. That's the back. Bike shorts. And those edges look really, really nice. Oh, clean. Really clean. Now, what are some other options for how we could finish those off? What do you mean? Um, Like some stretch lace. 
Oh yes, I have a pair of shorts that I added some wide stretch lace to and it's a winner because I didn't have to finish the edge. I just left it you're a rolled gonna, edge. You're just going to use the heat and bond stretch and you're going to iron that lace right on there. It's going to be the slickest thing ever. Oh, that's very exciting. Yes. Yeah, super easy. But quick. make sure it's stretch lace, not regular lace. It has to be stretchy. Now, we also think that we can do this with jeggings. So we measured this ahead of time. We're just going to cut this off. It's the very, very same procedure. It doesn't show through. I think that's the other thing that I was so impressed by with the heat and bond because a regular heat and bond ultra, sometimes when you iron it on a fabric, it, 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 you can, it shows it through shows a little bit. It shows like a wrinkle sort it of. It gets dark. Yeah. This doesn't, I'm oh really God. impressed, so really impressed. excited, and we want to hear your success stories. So, or your fails. We just like hearing them. And stay tuned for next week. We're going to show you a video of ways to wear. To style. Your new bike shorts. Woo! Thanks for watching. Make sure to like the video. Like it. Follow it. And share, share it. it. Bye. Bye. <laughs>